Farmers in a region of Italy once known for cheeses have turned to cultivating a type of cannabis, not to smoke or sell, but to decontaminate polluted soil. The hemp they're growing contains very little THC, the compound that makes people high. Seth Doan checked out the crop. Vincenzo Fornaro showed us his now empty farm, once packed with more than 600 sheep. For generations, our family produced ricotta and meat, he recalled, until 2008, when Italy's government discovered the toxic chemical dioxin in his sheep and slaughtered the entire herd, the culprit just a mile away. Contaminants spewing from this massive steel plant, Europe's largest, meant Fornaro could never have grazing animals again. To clean up his land, he decided to try a rather unusual experiment. He's growing marijuana. Fornaro planted industrial hemp to try to leach contaminants from the soil. The science is called phytoremediation. Contaminants are absorbed by the fast-growing roots of the cannabis plant, which stores or, in some cases, transforms toxins into a harmless substance. You think this marijuana is the future of your farm? Yes, absolutely, he said. This crop is past harvest and doesn't look like much now, but it's proven to pull heavy metals from soil and was used following the nuclear disaster at Chernobyl to remove radioactive strontium and cesium. You have hemp oil, hemp beer, hemp pasta, hemp... Claudio Nettile sells some of the thousands of products made from industrial hemp. We want to eliminate the prejudice against cannabis, he said. He took us to an apartment complex built from hemp composite materials. So passers-by don't miss the point, the grass out front is cannabis. We must innovate, Fornaro told us, and develop in a way that's ecologically sound. In the shadow of the steel factory, this farmer is pegging his future to a very different type of plant. Seth Doan, CBS News, Taranto, Italy.